Good e good morning everyone. Make a love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. Make a make a love shout out everyone. And if you are new to my channel, please one subscribe two like share don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification three like leave a comment subscribe four all right our lesson for today is how to compute mean of graph data using coded formula so this is the third formula of the finding the mean and this will be english and uh, explained in english and filipino for mathematics grade 7 fourth quarter okay so uh, we know that the mean is the most popular among the measures of central tendency for it is widely used and it indicates a point around the values in the distribution balance this can easily be justified by showing that the sum of differences from the mean is equal to zero and it is also affected by extreme bounds. Okay, so this is the coded formula no, of the group data. So we have the summation of x bar or x bar is equals to xm. No? Uh, we have the superscript m plus close and open parenthesis fxc over n times i where the x bar is the mean the f is the frequency the x um, with subscript uh, superscript c is assume mean assume mean is equals to the coded value where it is the no xm stands for the class mark minus the x or the mean over i or yeah let's say the xc so the coded value and then n or the total frequency and i is the size of the class interval all right let's have this example okay so i will use pen i think we can uh, we, it's better to use different color this time okay so um, we have here no so let's count this um uh, class interval so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten yen so one two three four five two four five okay so pili in natin tong six no because um okay so dito tayo maglalagay ng ating asho mean so dito sa lugar na to no Alright, so piliin natin to where we can put our coded value. So, pag sinaglagay tayo ng code, start from 0, 1. So, lahat ng pataas ay positive. 2, 3, 4. And then, pagbaba niya, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Okay, then we will multiply yung frequency at saka yung coded value. So, 2 times 4 is equals to 8. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 2 is 2. 6 times 1 equals 6. Then 0. 5 times negative 1, negative 5. And then negative 18. Negative 6. Negative 12, 
and the negative 25. All right, and then add all the positive. So 8 plus 3, 11 plus 2, <clears throat> uh, 11 plus 2, 13 plus 6, 19. So 19 your positive, and then we have 25 plus 12, 37 plus 6, 33. Uh, okay. Okay, so the total here, no? so lahat yan pag natin, the total is ne up negative 66. Then all you have to do is subtract, no? So negative 66, then positive 19. So we have 16 minus 9, which equals to 7. Then, this will become 5 minus 1 is equals to 4. So, negative 47. Now, from the formula, x bar is equals to xm plus no, f times xc over n times i. Okay. So, um, yung atim ashumi, o yung ashumi natin is 87. Dito natin siya kukunin kung saan po ang inyong uh, coded. So, 87 no, plus ang total nito, 66. So, we have negative 47 no, over 40 times i ang i natin ay <coughs> kung ilan yung uh, size no 73 uh, 71 73 so we have 3 only so 3 ang i okay so we have 87 plus 47 times 3 is equals to 21 and then 12 plus 1, 13. Okay, so this is negative 132 over 40. So we have 87 plus or negative, no? So depende kung ano yan. Okay, again, again, mali tayo, no? So, 47 times 3 is 141. Uh, 141. So, 141. Okay, so positive times negative is negative. Okay. So, negative yan. So, 141 divided by 40 equals negative 3.525. So, minus natin yan. So, 87 minus 3.8. So, the answer is 83. Point four seven five. Kung maalaala nyo, the same mean doon sa second formula natin at saka sa first formula. So, in other words, ano mga formula ang gagamitin nyo? No? The, the mean still the same. Okay, so let's have the second formula. Next, so we have here, this time... Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, this is still the the birth weights of 50 males, to Filipino born in the hospital. So, since 9 ito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, dito tayo sa ikalima. No? Hatiin natin siya tama. No? Para may gitna. So, ito yung 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, 
negative 3 and negative 4. Okay, so 10 times 4, of course, 40. And then 27, 16, 1. And then negative 2, negative 18, negative 15, and negative 4. Okay, so we have 40 plus 27 plus 16 plus 1 is equals to 84. And then 20 plus 15, 35 plus 4, negative 39. So negative. 84 minus 39 is equals to 45. So the sum of f of x encoded is equals to 45. No? So using the formula, we have xm, no? And in xm natin, plus f xc over n times i. So, ang assuming natin is 112.5 plus 45 over 50 times 86, 87, 89, 90, 91. So there are 6. So 112.5 plus 45 times 6 is equals to 270 over 50. So therefore, 112. 0.5 plus 270 <clears throat> divided by 50 is equals to 5.4. 5.4 plus 112. And 5.4 plus 112.5 is equals to 117. Point nine. So, the same also during last time. Alright? So, ganyan lang po kadali, no? You just follow the formula. Kapag hindi nyo po naintindihan, balikan lang. So, review the video. Stop and then you can pause for a while so that you understand. Okay, so for questions and clarifications, just write it at the comment section. Before I go. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the channel. And remember, <laughs> gratitude is the best attitude. Bye-bye. I love you all.